Welcome to Diversity of Urban Art. My name is Ray Marie and I'm a pastel artist and I also work in other mediums which I will show you uh, eventually. And I have gained my experience for working with different mediums through the Art Institute of Atlanta. I was there doing graphic design and uh, or visual communications and in doing so you had to be uh, acclimate yourself with all these different mediums because you never knew what the client was wanting or what would work best on a particular project. So I did a lot of freelance work and doing, since I didn't, I did the freelance work because I realized I told it too late that I did not feel like I was a corporate person. When I came back to Florida in 1996, I delved into wholeheartedly into my art and found this uh, medium or technique with pastels. Someone had given me a uh, board, which I will show you here. It is a uh, suede mat board, and as you can see, it's very flexible. So I do uh, adhere it to some foam core so it makes it more uh, substantial and keeps it more uh, workable. And so this is my canvas, and I can use different colors. I can uh, pretty much, I have the size uh, capability very small to uh, 32, oh, 40 by 60, which some paintings have become that large. Now, you see the canvas. These are uh, the pastels. This is my palette. I work in, uh, I love working in lots of color. Uh, I started out doing wildlife art and that was very, it kind of restricted you on some colors, but not really because I would use bright colors in the background. Their eyes would just have this wonderful look on their, uh, with these colors and bright greens or whatever. And I knew I wanted to further uh, the technique. And what I would do is, I use the pastels on the sway map board and all those little fibers I found could collect and hold uh, a lot of the uh, colors that I put on. There's layers of colors. I could also spray the board, uh, just dampen it, spray it, and then I could put the pastels on there and they would I would play with them like finger paint. Uh, let it dry, get the tooth back up with a little fine sandpaper, and then I could start putting all the uh, details and whatever uh, the drawing I'd already prepared for it. What I did on this uh, recently is under the, with the influence of Alfredo Mujica, my husband, he is very contemporary. He has the, uh, the influence of uh, uh, Picasso, Dali, and I love all those nice rich tones. And so what I did is I adjusted my uh, some draw uh, ideas or visions of some drawings and I went to a Picasso-ish type uh, scenario with a cello that I try to play but it doesn't come uh, doesn't sound like that <laughs> it doesn't sound like uh, Yo-Yo Ma but I do like to tune it and have I just love the feel of that uh, cello it's the rich tones, and I wanted to express those rich tones in the colors of the painting. So what I did is I used those, um, what I call ruby tones, and I didn't want just a cello. Um, it really kind of depicts on how it looks or how it might sound when I play it, because it's very broken. Um, but it's, or skewed, let's not say, it's not broken. Um, I played with the colors like he does and working with the complementary colors to get the deep rich tones and the darks against the rich warm tones. That has a part of me, it has that the roundness and the curves of being uh, feminine and uh, but still having the deep rich tones of the cello that's um, bold. One of the things about working with the color is I had uh, influence from obviously from his work but also other uh, other artists work with all these nice rich tones and I just had um, I used to have this wonderful uh, wonderful large dog and he had all these uh, expressions and I enjoyed getting all these photographs of him and um, but I noticed that with, with the 
seeing these animals with these human-like expressions, I wanted to depict that, but I wanted to be more colorful. I didn't want to do just the traditional, which I have done, and I enjoyed that. But um, what we do, what I do, is use the, the different colors to make green dogs. Purple dogs, orange dogs, red dogs. And I use the pastels, and they have um, the nice rich tones. I try to keep the eyes the way the dog is because it just has that, it really makes them feel more real. And they get these funky little quirky looks, and the quirkier the better. And then kind of play with the backgrounds to jump off the whatever colors I use on the dog. Uh, I did have a request for something, these are 8x8s, eight eight, and I did have a request for something larger, and I said, well, how about two foot by two foot? And they loved the idea, and what I didn't, um, wasn't too sure about was shipping the pastel, so what I decided to do was to switch the medium and go into acrylic. And that's what you'll see here, as a cute little border collie, and this also brings about uh, the experience in working with different mediums. It didn't call for a large piece like this for, to nail and it worked better for doing it for the acrylic. So you transfer, you get the, you work, um, instead of using my fingers, I'm using brushes. So I'm drawing and painting. painting. The, um, you got the blue dog per se and, and you can see that the whites are really like a lavender and some teals. And it just kind of plays around with the different colors that, are, that I use in the background. It kind of splatted, splatted all the paint. And it's just fun. So if you, you're painting and you're enjoying yourself, the more the merrier to, ha to have this, uh, to be experiencing this. If it isn't fun and you're frustrated, try another medium and go with it. The, uh, with these, a lot of people have come up and they'll bring their dogs here and I'll take a photograph of them and we'll take it from there and they'll say, well, what colors would you like? And it's like, oh no, just do what you want. And it's more fun to just get one color and then I'd kind of bounce off what they want. But uh, the part of it is just, it's just having fun with color and juxtaposing one on top of the other. And you'll never know what might happen. So you experiment. Uh, you play and enjoy painting and drawing. And I'm thrilled that you joined me today. My name is Ray Marie, pastel artist and sometimes acrylic and oil. And you have a wonderful day. Cheers!